really worked hard to upgrade what would normally be a standard off-the-shelf display to a very much robust product, operating temperatures very high, even above and beyond what the Garmin G1000 would be. Mm -hmm. So we're excited, and certainly in the center section here on the main screen, you're now bringing forward some similar representations of what pilots have been accustomed to. It's a good transition screen for them as they move into a glass panel application. But oil pressure, oil temperature, instrument pressure or instrument vacuum, mm -hmm. instrument air if you will, because again it's replacing your vacuum gauge as well, and your ammeter. As I can rotate this to the right, you'll see that we're moving to a primary engine analyzer screen. And this is really the screen that our pilots are using more often once they become a little bit more accustomed to the product. And again, vibrant colors, very easy to see. And we've moved some of those round gauges. They're now displayed digitally along the right-hand side. And again, using color. So the pilot can scan quickly, and he's looking for color. If he sees a yellow, he needs to know that he needs to give it some attention. Center section is a real, as you can see, even again off to the side there, a bright, colorful depiction of your multi cylinder monitoring. And that is your exhaust gas, mm -hmm. which is the blue bar, and the, the cylinder head temperature, which is green, mm -hmm. for each one of the one through six or one through four, because it is adaptable okay. depending on the airframe. So it gives you a quick glance, and again, the pilot's looking for color. As you can see quickly with cylinder three, it, the CHT bar is bright yellow. So that would indicate that you've got an, a cylinder that's operating slightly above what you would consider the normal operating range. But nicely depicted over to the right-hand side, you can see in a quick glance, in a small area, what is my hottest cylinder head temperature, and that's indicating that for me. Aero TV is brought to you by... Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. As far as the configuration goes, there is a USB port on the side here, okay, which allows our installers to configure it for the aircraft at that time. And we've got a process that we work through which is very simple. Simply inserting the USB drive will upload those operational parameters and configure this unit for that aircraft tail number and type certificated requirements on the spot and it can receive updates if and when the owner of the aircraft may upgrade his engine or any other requirements that would affect engine parameters, we can just send them a new update file, they can download it, and there's no additional uh, work that has to be done. So it's exciting. The unit, or the Oracle, the CRM2100, is going to record every one of the engine parameters or instruments once every two seconds, okay? It's going to record that information on a file per flight, and it's going to record at that rate over a hundred hours of engine data and that's a rolling hundred hours mm -hmm. so it's non erasable gotcha. the pilot cannot erase it the shop cannot erase it you will always have a hundred hours of your previous hundred hours of operation and again that's downloaded through the USB port just plug in a portable thumb drive downloads the data and you can take it to your mechanic to evaluate or we provide software with the system that will allow you to evaluate it yourself Aero TV is brought to you by Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. You can take a product like this, and I'm just going to show you a quick feature 
if I were to tap that function button there, mm -hmm. you're going to see that I've normalized the exhaust gas temperatures or brought them all down to an even playing field, right. about a zero point, that now allows you to run some diagnostic tests, but it's also very valuable during cruise. Okay. Once you've set up and leaned, you can normalize those, bring them all down to a common level, mm -hmm. and you really shouldn't see any change in your exhaust gas temperature as long as you maintain the original altitude and cruise power. Mm -hmm. But for instance, uh, a mag check, which has traditionally been done before run-up and at run-up and so forth, where you're going to be looking for an RPM change when you switch from both to left or right. Well, when you've got a product like this, now you, when you switch from both to your left mag, as a for instance, you're looking for each one of those individual cylinders, exhaust gas temperature is going to rise. Mm -hmm. And that gives you a good look, not at the overall health, but now as a, a, on a per cylinder basis. Mm -hmm. And if, you, for instance, you did have a problem on the left mag cylinder four, if you had an issue with that particular plug, you went to the left mag, cylinder four is not firing, the exhaust gas temperature is just going to drop right off, and now you know exactly what plug. You can go back in, tell your mechanic, and say, I need to have this plug changed. So it's very valuable also for in-flight diagnostics as well. Just one of the neat features and real beneficial features that, that are integrated with the unit.